The aide who accused Meghan Markle of bullying staffers is stepping down from Prince William and Kate Middleton's Royal Foundation. Jason Nauf, the chief executive of Prince William and Kate Middleton's Royal Foundation, had joined Kensington Palace in 2015 and will leave the role at the end of this year, a statement announced on Wednesday. He took up a job as an advisor to Prince William in March 2019 when Harry and Meghan left Kensington Palace. In a statement from the Royal Foundation, it says Jason will remain in post until the end of 2021 before a planned international relocation that has necessitated his decision to stand down. Prince William and Kate Middleton are sad that their charity chief has quit for personal reasons after accusing Meghan Markle of bullying. The aide worked for Meghan and Prince Harry as a communications assistant before taking on his role with William and Kate. He was the royal staffer who reportedly submitted a bullying complaint in October 2018 to protect palace aides who were allegedly coming under pressure from the Duchess. Reports say the Duchess drove two personal assistants out of the household, while undermining the confidence of a third staff member. A spokesperson for the Sussexes said Markle denied all claims of bullying and was saddened by this latest attack on her character, particularly as someone who has been the target of bullying herself. The claims, which Meghan denies, are now being investigated by a third-party law firm drafted in by Buckingham Palace. Nauf's replacement for Kate and William's foundation will be announced in the coming weeks. William and Kate have recorded the 60-second broadcast which marks Mental Health Awareness Week, alongside celebrities like David Beckham, Dame Shirley Bassey and Charles Dance. The message will encourage everyone around the UK to keep talking about mental health, highlighting how vital one conversation can be for someone struggling with issues. The Mental Health Minute was created in partnership with the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. The Mental Health Minute will be aired simultaneously across every radio station in the UK at 10.59am on Friday, uniting commercial, community and all BBC stations, with an estimated audience of more than 20 million. The script has been written by poet and mental health activist Hussein Minar, who features in the broadcast and has been a longtime supporter of Shout 85258 and the mental health campaigns Heads Together and Heads Up, run by the foundation. Prince William and Kate Middleton are searching for a head gardener for their country Norfolk residence, Anmer Hall which has plenty of land. Duchess Catherine is an avid gardener. It is clear that the new member of the royal staff will have to meet the high standards that Catherine has set, as her personally designed garden was a huge hit at the prestigious flower show. The royal took part in the Chelsea Flower Show in 2019 and Catherine even made a secret visit to her Chelsea Flower Show garden with her children. At the time she said, I really feel that nature and being interactive outdoors has huge benefits on our physical and mental well-being, particularly for young children. There was a noticeable change in how the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge interact with people. Prince William and Kate was to rebrand their Instagram account from Kensington Royal to the more informal and personalized Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. The Cambridges shared a behind-the-scenes clips from their previous engagements and royal tours as they launched their own YouTube channel. And immediately it already has more than 500,000 subscribers and has attracted millions of views. Earlier this week, the Duchess of Cambridge updated her and Prince William's new YouTube channel with a video of her chats with entrance to her photography contest Hold Still. Kate was pictured clutching a black corded landline phone to her ear as she casually chatted away to finalists beside a window in her London home, Kensington Palace. The Duchess of Cornwall has also been photographed several times throughout the pandemic keeping in touch with people from her and Prince Charles's Scottish home, Burkhall, via a corded handset. Both Kate and William tend to use the old-fashioned landline when it comes to conducting engagements. Dickie Arbiter, the Queen's former press spokesman pointed out that landlines are a lot safer than mobiles. A landline is not so accessible because you need to put a wiretap on it, so that's not so easy. Phil, author of Prince Philip, a lifetime of wit and wisdom also said they may even choose to use corded telephones for health reasons. Thank you for watching. If you liked, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. We will update the latest videos about the royal family every day. Thanks and goodbye.